It's time for Feedback Friday, where we share our thoughts on your comments on our most recent episodes. Feedback Friday starts right now. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Feedback Friday. We are back on Feedback Friday. Black and silver. Oh, that was black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and silver. The resurrection of Superman. I'm back. The resurrection of Superman? Yeah, remember, the, remember where did he go? They killed I don't him. read comic books. Then he came back from the dead. Oh, in the movie? Yeah. He died twice. He had three funerals. Two funerals. Well, but he died because, three times, because basically. Because he's that important. Abyss, you know, was my doomsday. Why are you DC, David Hero, versus Marvel? Because I like Superman. I like Hulk. If I could morph into the two, that would Do you find the DC characters as dynamic as the Marvel Universe? But Twitter got hacked the other day, by the way. Who did? Marvel. Marvel? Every account. Thor, Captain America. Really? Yeah. What'd they say? Um, it, was, uh, it was... You know, I think hackers and people who do that are the second lowest form of scum on this planet. I agree. Because they're just... They're, they're the biggest cowards in the history of man. Yeah, I agree with you on that. You've ever been hacked before? Yes. Really? Yeah. What'd they do to you? Um, well, at one point I bought some country to country uh, flights within the boundaries of Russia. I clearly wasn't in Russia. Um, most recently, uh, my, my, uh, my bank account was compromised again um, because of these, these hacks that, uh, that uh, sit around and have nothing better to do. But that wasn't the question. Uh, you, you prefer the DC Universe because you like Superman and Hulk. The question was, do you find their characters as dynamic as those of the Marvel Universe? I think Marvel has better character growth, but Superman's iconic. And that's kind of like what I like to be you know, looked at as iconic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is Feedback Friday. What we do here on this broadcast, on this program, is we share your comments on our recent episodes. And uh, we thank you for participating. And remember, you don't have to do anything special. Literally, all you have to do is, especially if you're watching this here on YouTube, is tippy-tappy down below and share your comments, your thoughts, your constructive feedback, your non-constructive feedback. Never constructive. There are many that are constructive. We actually have a couple of comments here okay. that are constructive. How, how do you categorize people like that? Categorize everyone into one realm, it's if you will, to speak of Thor. Lump them all in the same place, it's easier. Drain the swamp? Yes. Thin the herd, whatever you want to call it. All right, folks, uh, let's get right to the first comment. And this comes to us from a YouTube user by the name of Jay True. Jay True says, and I quote. That's a long one. A lot of words. Um, with Goldberg and Brock Lesnar now entered into the Royal Rumble, do you think or don't you think that Lesnar is going to be hunting Goldberg down? Wouldn't it make sense to have the two entered at the midway point of the Rumble, clear the ring and eliminate everybody in there at the time, and then have Goldberg and Lesnar go at each other all over the arena, breaking the commentary table, setting up two to be the last remaining five, Goldberg then eliminating Lesnar, Lesnar coming back in, eliminating Goldberg, they brawl all the way to the parking lot, setting up Goldberg versus Lesnar, and WrestleMania possibly in a steel cage. Well thought out. Interesting scenario. It could happen. It could. It Take the Jerry Lawler route in the Rumble. Remember when he used to never enter? <laughs> He'd hide under the ring for half the match? <laughs> it's going to be interesting how they're going to book the Rumble because you have so many different dynamics in there. Yeah. You're going to have a Braun Strowman. You're going to have maybe Roman Reigns might be in there even though he's in a singles match. You know, Does they need to do that this year? I think everyone should be in it. <clears throat> I really do. Yesterday on Primetime, we talked about the depth of the roster, or lack thereof, the number of people on the roster. I think Big Cass will have a great rumble showing. He looked great against Rusev. He did. <clears throat> he did. Mm -hmm. He did. Finn Balor, he might show up. He should be John back. John Cena. John Cena, who's back Tuesday mm -hmm. at SmackDown. But this scenario that's laid out, so Brock and Goldberg sort of don't worry. They're not concerned about the Rumble. They're concerned about each other. They screw each other over, well, neither Goldberg wins. Goldberg said he wants a title run. Yeah, but he could get distracted once because of the fact that Brock Lesnar is upset because he got beat. Now twice by Goldberg. Yeah. Would you have these two in the Rumble match? You have to. Goldberg and Lesnar. You have to. It's, it's, it, 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 that, is, that is box office right there. That's what people want to see. 
Yes, it is. Um, exactly. You know, what we, one thing we didn't talk about on primetime yesterday is the uh, the changes made to the WWE programming lineup, specifically on the WWE Network. As you know, the WWE Raw and I believe SmackDown pre-shows, uh, at least for, at the very least the Raw pre-show, had been hosted by the team of Renee Young, Booker T, Jerry Lawler, I'm sorry, not Renee Young, it was uh, Scott Stanford, and uh, Lita. Yeah. And uh, Lita, who is now uh, gone from WWE, at least on a weekly television basis, and Jerry Lawler, also gone from WWE TV on a weekly television basis. His exodus was quite obvious once he got moved to SmackDown. It was the, w it's the way out. That's the way it happens. It's the way it happened with a lot of previous people, a lot of people earlier as well. But... I don't think anybody should knock WWE for this. Jerry Lawler has been there since 1993, I believe it was. Been in the business since the 70s. He is an icon. He is a star. He is a legend. But it gets to a point where the dynamic doesn't quite work anymore. And not saying it didn't, but what Jerry actually said with his own words in a recent interview regarding his departure from that uh, pre-show was that him being on it and the contract that he had made the production cost for the pre-show through the roof and it just wasn't a justifiable business move for WWE. And, plus, and you're not adding a fifth man to SmackDown. And as much as we all love Jerry Lawler, he's not getting younger, and they want the younger demographic. He looks younger every week. Well, he does, but he's not. Yeah. Um, anyways, let's go to our next comment. This comes to us from a YouTube user with an interesting question also regarding the Royal Rumble. And his name is David Stronach. He says and asks, uh, says rather, they should do a women's Royal Rumble match this year. Can't do it. Why not? You have to take off the top rope. Why? Because too many of them are too short to throw over the top. You've never seen women get thrown over the top rope? No. You didn't see uh, Alexa Bliss and uh, and uh, Becky Lynch dressed as a luchador this past Tuesday night on SmackDown? That didn't it's happen in that matchup. It's easy. But it can be done. With a lot of I just, I just don't, I don't understand. Oh, you're going to spin it now. No, I just don't understand why every time... The women in wrestling are put on the same level as the men in wrestling, whether it be in a Hell in a Cell match, an Iron Man match, a Royal Rumble matchup. You don't nine, like it. Okay, so can the cruiserweights do a Royal Rumble match? Would you have to remove the top rope for them as well? No, because they're used to jumping over the ropes. The girls don't do it. They don't do it. No. Clip after clip after clip can be compiled and shown to you right now that shows that they do do it. Well, put those clips together. I don't have time. Well, so then don't argue with me. I keep giving you chances to prove to the world that you don't have a Trump-like view of women in wrestling. Has it ever happened before? When was last have you ever walked in and grabbed them by the... I don't have know. Have you ever seen a women's battle royal before? I don't know if I have, and they isn't have that what makes it intriguing? They go through the second rope. They go through the second rope? Yes. But they can get thrown over the top rope. I've never seen it. You, you don't know you've seen it. You have seen it. You saw it as recently as this week. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder how, which list do you think you're on? The naughty or nice list. Depends what part of the year it is. Well, because in two days, I mean. Well, I'll be on the good boy list. I was well behaved. You know, here's the thing, though. As much as David Hero seems to not like women being equated to men in professional oh, wrestling, he did I have this comment. To, well, that. I'm going to give you a chance then with your own words to share with the world a tweet that you sent out during a roadblock this past Sunday on the WWE yes. Network regarding female wrestling. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. It's written there. You can, can read, read it. it? <laughs> I mean, you said it, so maybe you can read it. <laughs> I want to see Thea Trinidad in the ring with these ladies. Thea Trinidad has... Could she go over the top rope? Absolutely. Oh, my she's Lord. It is... She's got it is... Oh, my gosh. She has charisma. She's beautiful. She can do lucha. She can fight. She can scratch. She can talk. She does it all. It's a matter of time before Thea Trinidad, Rosita from TNA, is in NXT. What was that for? Why do you roll... You're going to roll your eyes out of your head one of these times. Sitting next to you for on a repeated basis may just cause that to happen. Proud of yourself? Folks, again, Feedback Friday. Yeah, this show's all about you and it's all about your comments. So please feel free to share with them whether you do so on Twitter and, um, 
and uh, even on Facebook and uh, not Facebook on uh, YouTube and uh, we'll select some of those comments each and every week here on Feedback Friday to share with you so what why are you throwing pins around I'm done. Yes, we are done. The show is coming to a close. That's what that rap sign means from the floor director out there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. For that one, who's looking forward to seeing you in Chicago for Raw and SmackDown. He's going to be, be there, there um, this upcoming week. Your Amex, and I'll be buying plenty of merch for everybody. Uh, will it be Deja Vu, or will it be Admiral? You know what happened at Deja Vu? They lost our car keys at the valet. They put in someone else's car one time. They had to find our keys. They put How your car keys in happened. someone else's car. Yeah, they grabbed, my, they, they grabbed the keys and threw them in someone else's car by mistake. They couldn't find our car keys. Imagine well, that's that a neat car, trick. Imagine if that car would have drove off. So what would you do to occupy yourself while they were looking for your keys? I waited. <laughs> <laughs> for that one, folks, this is Damian Nelson saying thank you so much for joining us. You're on Feedback Friday. We'll see you next week. <laughs>